Bloop a doop a doo. Bloop a doop a da ba I would really love to see them remake this game with a difficulty option because I know a lot of gamers who hate that and they're like, oh, it's not the same, it's not hard. And I'm like, it's just an option. Yeah. You don't have to take it. Right. And there are some people who really just want the story and they don't want to have to fuss with the numbers game of watching the slots and which spells do I cast, you know? And that's okay. And I think that it would really reach a wider audience. Yeah, and I think it's interesting that a lot of modern games that do have difficulty settings don't call the easiest setting easy. They call it story. <laughs> like, I just want the story. I'll push some buttons when I need to, but I just want, tell me the story. And really, like, that's why I play games. I don't play it for the difficulty. I don't play it to, you know, overcome something that seems insurmount insurmountable. That can be nice sometimes, but for the most part, like, I want a story that I can interact with at least a little bit. Yeah, and I wish that like, you know, gaming journalism and gaming culture could get to a better place around this issue of, you know, you're not a gamer unless you're playing hard stuff. Because you know what? You know what's hard? Reading. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even joking. Reading is hard for people. There are so many people I know who play games who are like, oh yeah, I love the story. And then you ask them for finer points of the story and it's crickets. They have no idea because what they really mean is when I, I love the story, when I, they say that they mean, oh yeah, this one character is a, a fill-in for me in the story. So I like that one part. Or I, I love this one combat and it's also a big story beat. So I'm going to say I love story or lots of other things, you know, but um, actually engaging with a story that's well written is not easy. It takes a different kind of work. Yeah, I think you're right that like media literacy is actually quite low and you get that a lot with people completely misinterpreting movies like Fight Club or American Psycho. I don't know about you, but when I open my browser on my phone, it gives me like suggested links of stuff that I might like. And one of them was an article in a website that I usually read a lot. And I was so disappointed in it because it was about the new Fire Emblem game. And it was talking about, it was bemoaning how the difficulty in the series has decreased gradually as time has gone on. And I was so frustrated with it because I was like, you know, I haven't played the old, old, old school Fire Emblems, but the story of like Fire Emblem, it was, it said Fire Emblem Three Houses, for instance, was too easy. And I'm like, the story of Fire Emblem Three Houses is incomparably better than any of the DS games, even the ones I like the most. Like, and that's an objective fact. I mean, I, I know I sound dramatic, but like none of the other Fire Emblem games have a literal library of lore that actually takes you more than, you know, 10 minutes to read and, and figure out. I was so frustrated when I read that, that I was like, I don't know if I want to even read any more mm -hmm. articles on this website, because like, why are you giving oxygen to this mentality? It was bemoaning that, it was literally bemoaning that there was the difficulty option. And I'm like, you don't have to take it. You, no one's picking you, take it. Like, let us have our thing. <laughs> yeah, let people enjoy things the way they want to enjoy them. Yeah.